What's going on guys, 7 up 7 here, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 8. We are currently in Argonia still, where we left off in the last video. And I'm heading back into the castle now. Uh, I had gone to the inn and to save and stuff, so we're just gonna head back in. In the last video, we met the wonderful Prince of Argonia and uh, found that it's the old cliche story of the the mighty king with the son that's just not quite living up to what he hopes, so... We're gonna go see how that's gonna play out now that we've met Prince Charmels the Magnificent. And, um, see what kind of quest ah, his father wants him to go on. Timing. Allow me to introduce my son. This is Prince Charmels, the future king of Argonia. You know, he seems disappointed, but still pretty proud of his son. I, I gotta give him some credit for that. What is all this, father? Why are you wasting my time with this whiff-waff? Whiff-waff. They're going to protect you during the initiation. They will need to know who you are. Oh, is that how that works? Initiation? Who said anything about the initiation? I don't recall agreeing to that. I hate lizards. How many times do I have to tell you? So you want to be all high and mighty, but you don't want to earn it. Listen carefully, Charmels. Enough is enough. I am aware of your aversion to the initiation, but it remains your duty to complete it. Damn straight. You won't be able to marry Princess Medea until you prove your worth. Whoa, hold on. She's gonna marry this asshole? Well, I don't care about getting married anyway. Alright, good to hear. Because that's not happening. You're making a mistake, Charmels. I hear Princess Medea is... well... Va! Va! Boom! Oh, Jesus Christ. You understand what I'm saying. That's creepy, man. Why you gotta say stuff like that? I respected you. Wow! Oh, no. Now, have you reconsidered? <sighs> you can leave me out of this, thank you. Okay, no one was actually talking about you, Jessica. They just used you to show the boobs. Uh, um. Anyway, my son, do you realize what people say about you behind your back? Man, he's about to lay it out. This is your chance to prove yourself. To show the world you are a man. I'll give you a hint, Charmels. They think you're a little bitch. These people can assure your safety. Well, Charmels, do you accept? Uh... Yes? Wait, no! I mean, oh, I don't know! See, he won't even do it for Princess I Medea. Heard a yes, that's my prince. I'll ensure that everyone believes you're doing it on your own. You will leave now. Hide yourself in the wagon at the city gates and await your bodyguards. Right now? What? Whoa, 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 right now? Chancellor, accompany Charmels to the gate. The prince is leaving for his initiation. Summon the royal guards. The prince must have a fittingly ostentatious send-off. Remember, he is leaving on his own. I thought he was hiding. Uh, it shall be as you wish, your majesty. Mm. Yes. Maybe I didn't understand that correctly, but... Wait! I'm not ready yet! Oh, Jesus. See, like, part of me... Off at last. I wish you luck. And remember, your mission is top secret. Yeah, yeah, I got Charmels it. Charmels will explain the details of the initiation himself. Are you sure you can trust him to do that? Because I don't think that I can. Fulfill my request, and you have my word that the magic mirror shall be yours. Whatever, man. I'll take care of Prince Douchebag over here, and we'll do this just so I can get my magic mirror. I don't have time for this. I don't care about your family problems or your little 
shitty excuse of a prince for a son. It's not my problem. So, I guess we're gonna go outside and uh, meet little Princess Charmels outside the gate here. And uh, take him on his merry way wherever we're trying to get him. Apparently it involves a big lizard. Not sure of the details just yet, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. So, there's nothing else that we need to do uh, within the actual town of Argonia right now, so we'll just head on out. Oh, but we did get our alchemy pot finished. So we got the recovery ring now, and this is one that I'm making to make a staff later on. This is one of those that requires multiple mixes. So we're going to toss this right on back in there. And uh, let me see if I can find... I hope I have one still. Yeah, a gold bracer. So we're going to toss those two things in there. And we'll get the next item that we need. But it's still not going to be what we're actually going for. So um, hopefully that'll finish. And then there's one more actual important one that we want to go ahead and do. But uh, for right now, I'm just kind of planning ahead with this so we can get a really good staff very, very shortly. Alright, so let's go outside and see if Charmels is out here waiting for us. Oh boy. <laughs> So, he's just ducked in the back of the wagon. Alright, well, he's gonna get out. That stinky old wagon is far too small for me. That's because you're a fat ass. Maybe I could stretch my legs if you got rid of that worthless pot. I'm gonna beat you over the head with it. Good grief! What's that? What kind of people are you traveling with a freak like that? You pretty much look exactly the same, just pointing that out. Here, Granddad. You'd have bit of my head off if I said something like that. I'm a king, you off with a twerp. That's the best possible. <laughs> That's, that was beautiful. Come a little closer. Oh boy. Look at us. Don't you see? We can't tell him his fiance has turned into a horse. I thought Trode was about to smack the shit out of him. Much better to keep the truth a secret for now. Make sure everyone knows to keep it under their hats. I guess that's a good idea. A Prince Charmless! <laughs> what is our destination? You're cold, King Trode. It's Charmley, you clot. Just oh. head east. Eventually we'll come to the royal hunting ground. That's where the initiations take place. I've been saying it wrong the whole time. Charmley. Oh, and before I forget... I'm not saying that, by the way. Lizard humor. Okay. I'm not this gonna ask. This vial contains a powder that masks human scent. You must sprinkle it on yourselves before we enter the royal hunting ground. Okay. Argon lizards are very sensitive to smell. If they get wind of our unmasked scent, they'll run away. In other words, we've got to smell like lizards to fight lizards. Are you sure you can handle that? I'm supposed to be doing this by myself, so I shall be staying in the wagon until we arrive. Yeah, all right. I'll alight upon arrival, and we shall then proceed on foot. Now get a move on, you lazy rascals! Try not to break the wagon, you fat ass. All right, so now we sort of have our destination. However, uh, we want it to be nighttime right now, so I'm going to head back on in, and then we're going to get moving once more. Uh, but there's a visible monster we want to go find real quick, so... Okay, so back outside, we want to head back to the west, which we've actually already been this way before, but it was not nighttime. So, we didn't get this guy quite yet, but we'll go knock that out real quick. And there are a couple more items we're going to grab on our way to the Royal Hunting Ground. Uh, shouldn't take us too far out of the way, though. So we'll see how far we can actually get in this video. I'm not sure where I'll cut it off. Um, the monsters around here are actually becoming quite easy for us. Probably from all the extra wandering around we did. If I had to guess. 
Alright, we're almost there. It's at the first intersection, I believe. And once again, I did say in the last video that I had worked on the audio because I got a new mic. And uh, after I re-watched it, I realized I think I was too close to it. So it actually didn't improve the quality all that much. But in this video, I'm really hoping that it's a lot better. Um, I'm, I'm a little further away. I'm still kind of playing around with it, though. So hopefully it'll be a lot better quality in this video. Alright, so here he is. This is who we're looking for. Oh, he's one of those uh, hoodlums, I think is what they're called. So we're going to keep it generally pretty simple. This guy's actually not half bad. Um, so we're just going to use our basic abilities along with a couple of regular attacks. Shouldn't be any big deal. Definitely want to get the Twin Dragon Lash and of course Helm Splitter in there because those are always... Uh, good to help us out. Got the defense decrease, so too easy. Um, he will try to psych himself up here, but we're gonna try to... Oh, God. Alright. Well, mm, I don't like that. That's gonna make things a little difficult. Maybe they'll be able to attack anyway, I hope. <laughs> nope, that's not gonna do it. Not what we want at all. I would like to avoid him being able to use any kind of... Oh, but they're already dazzled, so why does it matter? Alright, there we go. Knock that defense down a little bit more. It's pretty useless, though, <laughs> if no one can actually attack. Alright, maybe uh, they'll be able to... Oh, well, shit. Okay. I guess he didn't have as much HP as I thought. Oh, and a level up for the hero. That's always good. Zing, which is a really good uh, skill to have because that means you can bring people back from the dead. I think Angelo already had it, but it's good to have more than one person, of course. Um, so right now we are still... Well, I think we had finished up Courage, so now we're going to actually go back to Boomerangs, throw some points in there. Oh, and we got another attack power upgrade, so that is perfect right before we get in there, and a gold monster coin from him. I'm not sure compared to some of the other ones we fought that he quite deserves a gold monster coin. Um, let's see. He's... He's okay. He's not that great. But I think I might... Hmm... I might go ahead and replace Goldman with him, because I know I'm never going to use him again, but I do want to bring this guy along. He, he does have some pretty good abilities, so... Alright, and we're going to go ahead and just zoom back to Argonia, because now we need to go to the eastern side. So we'll just zoom back over there. Um, I could walk and try to get the alchemy pot mix to finish, but I'm really not in a hurry. We'll have plenty of time to finish it out while we're at the Royal Hunting Grounds, so uh, no big deal there. Alright, so now we're just going to head to the east. I'm sure we'll have plenty of battles along the way, but we're just going to follow the road uh, right east, and I think turn east once again when we get to a split up not too far away. Um... And just something I briefly want to touch on, one of the monsters around here is the Tap Devil. You may have encountered them already. They're usually not much of a threat, but in a big group they can be very threatening, such as the battle I just had. And they're dangerous uh, not only because they have an ability to bring back to life, they can sacrifice themselves to bring back to life all of the ones that you've killed so far at once, which is already pretty bad. Uh, right here is where we want to continue heading east. Um, but they also have an ability, I think it's called the Death Dance, and it can immediately kill any number of your party members. I don't think it ever allows for all of them to be killed, but it can certainly take out more than one at a time, which can be pretty detrimental to you in the middle of battle, so definitely watch out. 
Alright, let's see where we're trying to go. What does this sign say? Ahead lies the Royal Hunting Ground. Okay. So we want to go just north of here, and there's a treasure chest we can quickly grab before we head into the Royal Hunting Ground. I do- oh, there it is. I knew it was around here somewhere. I thought it was uh, kind of around this little chain of mountains, but nope, it's right here. And inside we have a light shield, which we are going to save for a mix later on, as per the usual with items we find. And now we can just get back to the road and keep heading east. We are almost to the Royal Hunting Ground, so not a whole lot of sidetracking going on in this one. Alright, level up for Jessica, level 27. She's quite a bit behind the hero at this point, but she gets 8 skill points. Fantastic for her. Um, so right now, let's see, I want to, I don't know if it'll let me, yes, okay, so we can, uh, go ahead and put those both into whips there, and then just start putting the rest into staves, and we're pretty much gonna max out staves at this point, but, we were looking for this so she can get a plus 25 with a whip, excellent, excellent ability there. Um, and that's actually as far as we're gonna take her whips because Twin Dragon Lash can get us through the rest of this game, especially with that plus 25 attack power. She is uh, unstoppable at this point, we just need to get a better whip for her, and then uh, some better magic abilities, and that's about it. But we are coming up to the Royal Hunting Ground now. I do just briefly want to mention that uh, if you're a little bit behind on levels and you want to do some leveling up, those mountains just to the northwest of us, between the mountains, I'm sorry, the forest just between the mountains there uh, is full of metal slimes. You can get quite a few at once, and it's a great place to go ahead and train if you're a bit behind. Okay, now that we're here, that's the actual entrance over there, but we do want to run into the house here before we get started inside. And, uh, this lady, we can actually talk to her. And, okay, so she'll give us a free place to stay. Pretty nice. So we can stay overnight here, gain back, I mean, we were fully healed, just need to gain back all of our MP, at least for Angelo, who had been healing us. And then we can grab the 41 gold here. And right over here is another mini metal. So, that's all that we need in here, but it is a nice quick place to rest for free. And of course, grab those items is a necessity. So now we can just head on through to the Royal Hunting Ground. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, you feather-brained rascal. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, I'll use the lizard humor. Ya yeah, asshole. Alright, so let's look in our bag. There it is. We'll go ahead and use it. We'll just spray it on our heads. Why not? And now we can go in safely, according to Prince Charmel's. Excuse me, Charmley. Alright, so we'll have Charmels behind us here, uh, just sort of following us around, because he's completely useless. Uh, but this is the Royal Hunting Ground, but I am going to go ahead and stop this video here. It'll probably be semi-short, I guess, um, and then we'll just knock out the Royal Hunting Ground in the next one, and then get moving on with this. So I will see you guys then.